people also getting approached to join an MLM or maybe it's a cult? This is the most despicable and yet understandable progression of the sales cult approach. Obviously, when it comes to sales, the first hurdle that you have to jump across is trying to figure out who your customer base is. And nine times out of 10, it's usually going to include people with discretionary income. When it comes to multi-level marketing schemes or MLM schemes, what you're also looking for is people who want to make enough money that they can actually purchase into the program if that's what the program requires, as well as a need for more money. So how do you easily narrow this down? You start looking in certain stores in lower income neighborhoods and or in places that have notoriously good discounts. I was approached by one of these people and this particular woman has rent free space in my head to this day just because of how this went down. Both me and my wife in the previous city of where we, where we lived, we ended up in a store where a particular woman came up and didn't, didn't compliment the shoes like the original video, but mentioned how expensive everything was. My wife and I are both particularly friendly people, so we actually spoke with this person going all the way out to our cars until she actually asked for one of our phone numbers. I believe it was my wife's. Well, me and my wife just assumed that we had made a new friend and we were very, very excited. Lo and behold, we get a text from her where she is asking if she can come over and explain this program to us. Immediately, I am skeptical and just flat out say no, and my wife inquires via text further as to what this program would be. She proceeds to further explain some level of market, multi-level marketing where you can unlock your earning potential. My wife, gracious woman that she is, flat out just refuses, but does say, but you seem like an interesting person. Can, is there any way that you know we could still be friends? Her response, and I quote, I have enough friends, thanks anyway. This to this day is still one of the more aggravating things. Me personally, I'm, just, I'm particularly bad at meeting people. I'm particularly friendly, but I'm very, very bad at the, at the approaching because I immediately start ending up going down different conversation paths that don't matter. Uh, we as a couple were actually approached by someone and we were like, oh, maybe this can actually be a burgeoning friendship. But no, apparently she had enough friends, such good friends that she ended up getting wrapped up in this as a single mom. Yes, as part of these conversations, we found out that she was a single mom and this is how she was paying for it. Now, I'm not one to question your values or what you pursue in your in your personal life, but just a clarification. If you, for ever, whatever reason, are told that this is the best way to make sales, they are lying to you and you need to find some new friends or a new position elsewhere.